Good morning and welcome to Morning Manna. Today is Tuesday, April the 30th, 2024, and this is episode 4310. My name is Bruce Turner. Welcome to today's Morning Manna. Today's episode, Rejoice. Stay tuned. So before I share with you the verse that I'm going to be talking about today, I want to tell you a little story. The first church that I planted was in Meridian, Mississippi in 1976. I pastored there for six and a half years. We had a Christian school and my wife was taking my two daughters to a doctor's appointment for the children at uh, in, in downtown um, Meridian, Mississippi. And we were about six or seven miles outside toward the Naval Air Station in Meridian, Mississippi. And I got a phone call. And the phone call was from a hospital who said that my wife had been hit. Now, when you hear something like that, you just jump in the car and you just speed down Highway 39. You're not worried about about policemen or state troopers. You're just wanting to get to the situation that you don't totally understand. So what happened was my wife took our daughters into the pediatric office and then went out to park the car and as she parked the car she was walking across the street and somebody was speeding you couldn't even see the person they were speeding and they came over the hill and hit my wife I was in I was just afraid and I was just speeding down highway 39 and all of a sudden, the, just the peace of God came over me, and I just slowed down. And I got into the emergency room. They led me in, and my wife was semi-unconscious. She wasn't talking or anything else like that, and they were cutting off her clothes and dealing with the injuries. But then I saw her mouth move. And I leaned my head down just over her mouth. And she was saying this. And I'll try to say it the way she was saying. Habakkuk 3.17. Habakkuk 3.17. Now the Sunday before, I preached a sermon on Habakkuk. 317 through 18. Listen to what this verse says. Though the fig tree may not blossom, nor fruit beyond the vines, though the labor of the olive may fail, and the fields yield no food, though the flock be cut off from the fold, and there be no herd in the stalls. Yet I will rejoice in the Lord. I will joy in the God of my salvation. Even in that semi-unconscious state, that passage of scripture that I preached on the Sunday before was bringing her comfort. Now, this verse is certainly worth memorizing for those times and storms and troubles that sweep across every believer's life, right? For Habakkuk and for us, this marked a choice he was making to keep a correct view of his life. Even though everything that was familiar to him was about to collapse, Habakkuk still chose 
to rejoice in his salvation. This young prophet was reaffirming his commitment to the Lord. Yet I will rejoice was his way of saying, God, by your grace, I pledge to remain faithful and unremoved in the day of trouble and will choose to focus on and rejoice in what you have already done for me. The question for us is, what attitude will we chose if difficulties arise today, right? We can choose very little in life, but we can decide how we will respond to adversity and storms. We can choose our own attitude. Paul Harvey, a famous radio broadcaster years ago, wrote of an interesting incident that illustrates this point. After Hurricane Andrew devastated South Florida, Patricia Christie was waiting in line for food. She vowed she was going to get out of the state. She was going to leave on the first plane out. She was determined to get as far away from the horror of hurricane damage as she possibly could and have a restful vacation. I have just heard from Patricia Christie. She was standing in line for fresh water on the Hawaiian island of Kauau, having just gone through Hurricane Iniki. Jesus told us to expect storms because it rains on both the good and the evil. Besides physical storms, there are storms of finances, relationships, health, employment, just to name a few. The question is, will we still choose to be joyful in God when people and circumstances turn against us? So, though the fig tree may not blossom, nor fruit be on the vines, though the labor of the olive may fail, and the fields yield no food, though the flock be cut off from the fold, and there be no herd in the stalls. Yet I will rejoice in the Lord. I will joy in the God of my salvation. Father, today, help us regardless of what we see and experience to rejoice in you. In Jesus' name. Amen. Hey, have a great Tuesday. Till tomorrow morning, this is Bruce reminding you to choose joy.